The Hunger Games has raked in more than $300 million at the box office, but now the director of The Hunger Games is dropping out of the sequel. Eric Childress, vice president at the Chicago Film Critics Association, joins us now. That sounds like a pretty bad money move to me. Why would he want to drop out? Well, I mean, apparently they didn't come quite come to terms on exactly the kind of deal that he was hoping for. They had actually brought in another screenwriter uh, based on the schedule. You know, that way he wouldn't have to concentrate on both, you know, wearing both hats. But, you know, I guess they couldn't come to terms. And it's not too unprecedented. And all the Twilight movies had different directors. Uh, David Fincher is probably not going to be doing the Dragon Tattoo sequel uh, that they're, they're talking about. So it's not that uncommon. Not that uncommon. And what about the numbers, which have been completely uncommon? They're incredibly impressive. What's your outlook at this point for Hunger Games? Well, right now, I mean, it's, it's been number one at the box office three weeks in a row. Uh, this Possibly this weekend, it could very well be a fourth weekend in a row. The last film uh, to do that four weekends in a row at the uh, top of the box office was Avatar. The movie before that, The Dark Knight. So that's the, the company this movie's in. Here are some of the other numbers from the weekend box office. The Hunger Games at 33 million, American Reunion at 21, Titanic 3D at 17, Wrath of the Titans at 14 million, and Mirror Mirror hanging in there at number five with $11 million. Mm -hmm. Now, American Reunion. Mm -hmm. What did you think about that? Well, the movie itself is not very good, and the numbers it's are like definitely, you know, they're under over $10 million down hey from guys, the previous sequels. It. it only did $3 million more than the original did in 1999, and that's yeah, when the entire like cast was pretty much unknown. So it's not a very good number. It's probably going to do probably around maybe around $50 million, which is a disappointment considering all the other films did over 100. Should Titanic have had a better showing at the box office? Well, we might be looking at the possibility that the 3D re-releases might be having a ceiling. You know, we had Lion King last September. September that was kind of a, you know, a big deal, did 90 million. But now we had Beauty and the Beast this year, and we just had uh, Star Wars Phantom Menace come out. So maybe like around 50 million seems to be the target for these re-releases. And it makes you kind of wonder if they didn't bother even to do them in 3D. That you know, fans of these movies would probably still show up because they're anniversary editions. They used to do re-releases all the time and make this kind of money. So it's you know, I don't think they even need to do the 3D. But you know, we got Jurassic Park next year in 2013 for its 20th anniversary. It'll be coming out in the 3D edition. Interesting. Moving on to the box office this weekend, The Cabin in the Woods, mm -hmm. another Lionsgate film. Yeah, and they're hoping that you know the, the genre fans, uh, horror fans, are you know really looking forward to this one. Had a big success at the South by Southwest Film Festival last month. Uh, I think it's going to do pretty well, probably in the teens, and that you're not going to do great business. The Lockout, or Lockout rather, The Three Stooges. <laughs> do you have high hopes for that one? Um, it's, it's kind of a mediocre film, um, unfortunately, but uh, I, I think that the film could possibly have legs. I don't think it's going to open very strongly this weekend, but you know there are very few you know family movies out there, so if the dads want to take their sons to see Three Stooges, the moms can take their daughters to see Mirror Mirror, and everybody you know wins and see mediocre yep, movies. Yep, right? <laughs> All right, and both coming out in Chicago, not mm -hmm. everywhere, but what are right. the film critics saying about this behind the scenes? There are a lot of people that are very positive on this movie. I think the film is kind of a failure in what it's trying to set out to do, unfortunately. Uh, it's been open on the coast the last past couple weeks, and there's been a lot of you know controversy based on the rating system of this movie, so I think they're kind of hoping that's going to push people into the movies, but unfortunately, it's not a very good treatment of a very important subject matter. Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association, thank you for stopping by. Thank you.